yes if you check into the question what it is given here they are saying that if you have x is equals to a into secant cube theta and y is equals to a into tan cube theta then you need to find dy by dx at theta is equals to pi by 3 that is what they are telling first of all let us consider x what is x here that is a into secant cube theta so let us differentiate this function with respect to what theta what we will be getting dx by d theta which is nothing but a is a constant which is outside this is in the form of a x cube what is x cube derivative if you remember x cube derivative will be what 3 x square is it okay i will be applying the same formula 3 into x is what the x is secant square theta into whatever x i have taken i need to apply the what chain rule we are applying here is it okay yeah so from this what we will be getting 3 times a this is a secant square theta and what is the derivative of secant theta? You know that its derivative will be secant theta into tan theta. Is it okay? Yes. So from this, what we will be getting here? So we can conclude that dx by d theta is nothing but 3a secant cube theta into tan theta. This is what we got. Agree? So now look into the y. What is y given? That is a into tan cube theta. So now try to differentiate this function oh, with respect to that. theta on both the sides. So what is this? This is nothing but dy by d theta. It's just nothing but a is constant. We can take it out. Again, this is in the form of x cube. So remember, I am taken here tan s capital X. Here also secant s capital X. Okay. So what is x cube derivative? This is 3 into x square means tan square theta and internal derivative for the tan. Are you getting my point here? Here we are having a secant left side. Here we are having a tan. So this is nothing but 3 times a into tan square theta. If you know, can you tell me what is the derivative of tan theta? We know that tan theta. Okay, let me change the color. Tan theta derivative will be what? Secant square theta. I will be applying the same formula. Is it okay? Here, uh, okay, secant uh, theta derivative I have applied. Is it okay, right? So, this is nothing but secant square theta. Agree? So, this is what, take it as equation number 1. This is what, take it as equation number 2. Is it okay? Hmm. Now, look into the figure. What they are asking? They are asking dy by dx. What is dy by dx? dy by d theta whole divided by dx by d theta. Is it okay? What is dy by d theta? This is 3a tan square theta into secant square theta by this will be 3 times a this is a secant cube theta into tan theta agree so what we can say we can actually cancel 3a 3 on both the sides and the secant square and secant square will be cancelled one tan tan will be cancelled agree so i will be left with dy by dx so i have removed one tan right so one tan is left over and both the secants are removed from the numerator denominator what is left over secant theta is left over is it okay? Yes. So, from this, what we can say? Simply, uh, if you want, try to solve this for further. What is tan? Tan is nothing but sine theta by cos theta. What is secant? Secant is nothing but 1 by cos theta. So, what we can do? We can do it as dy by dx is nothing but uh, sine theta by cos theta into, if you take a reciprocal, this will be cos theta by sine theta. So, if you check into this, we can simply cancel cos cos from the numerator and as well as from the denominator. I will be getting with dy by dx, which is what? Sin theta. But what is the question they are asking? dy by dx at theta is equals to pi by 3. So, let us check. dy by dx at theta is equals to pi by 3. Pi by 3 is what? 60 degrees. So, this is sin pi by 3. So, we already know what is sin 60, which is root 3 by 2. So, finally, we will be getting d, dy by dx is nothing but root 3 by 2. This is what they are asking us to prove. Is it okay, right? Yes. If you have any doubts, you just let me know. Okay, then. Thank you.